Hi everyone, I'm here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you again for having me. Okay, in our, our last little chat, we talked about B3, which is awesome. Yes. But now we're going to talk about one of the reasons why B3 is so effective and get into directly what it does. We're talking about NAD. And um, not only NAD, but how does NAD, because I don't see a lot of videos on this, but I know that NAD works hand in hand with glutathione. Two things I take, and soon we'll be out with, uh, with, with some uh, ways where you can get, you know, what I take and where I get it and so on. Not yet. We're working on that. But um, NAD and glutathione are two things that I take and I feel fabulous. And you should all know I'm over 60. You know, I tell people if I said I was over 90, then I would probably be even more fit, right? Healthy. <laughs> uh, but I'm not. <laughs> Everything's honest. I'm over 60. 61 in a very shortly. So tell us about what NAD is and what glutathione is. And then I'll have some questions about how they work together and so on. So tell okay. us about each one of those things. Okay. NAD is a naturally occurring molecule in the body that assists in helping the cell function. That's really important because as we get older, we lose NAD. So if you think about that in really layman's terms, what happens is our cells start to die off and they start to not work properly. We start to get very sluggish. Our brain function becomes poorer, that kind of thing. We want NAD in as long as we can to help that. Um, NAD in itself helps with us with energy. It helps reduce inflammation. It helps our sleep cycle and it helps repair DNA, much like what we just talked about with B3. But because NAD, NAD, is a precursor to B3. So it helps all those things. It's really big. It's very well known for its anti-aging properties because, again, it's cleaning out that cell. So it redu reduces it When you start to have cognitive decline and cancerous things, um, sarcopenia, which is loss of the skeletal muscle, NAD plays a part in that. That's why we start to decline. And just to add to that, just to kind of put this in perspective for people, you lose about, you know, this stuff, studies that I've read and doctors that have, I've heard say, you lose about 15% every 10 years after age 20. So by the time you get to be my age, you don't have any NAD left. And it, it's not like I'm 100, but just at my age, you know, over 60, you don't have any NAD left, right? Right. Now, there's lots of things you can do, but that kind of puts it in perspective on how important NAD is. That's why my protocol, a lot of things revolve around increasing NAD and getting NAD in my body and so on. But glutathione, now NAD, you said, is a, is a molecule. Glutathione is a peptide. It's yes, a it tripeptide. It's a very small three amino acid peptide. We talk about peptides a lot. Glutathione is a peptide. It's called a tripeptide because there's only three um, amino acids yes. in this peptide. The peptides are a chain of amino acids. So what about glutathione, which is equally, I think mm. they're equally as important, um, but it's in every cell in your body. It, it, it's it's the same thing. You get just as many benefits, but they're different and they work together. So can you explain glutathione? I love both of these because I think in my world, when I'm really geeking out on these things, they work hand in hand together. Glutathione is made up of glutamine, glycine, and cysteine. Those three, those three amino acids can do such a heavy hit. Um, they're and they're naturally occurring in our bodies, but again, we start to lose this path. Um, it reduces oxida oxidative stress, and I don't know any one of us that is not 
you know, out there in the air, breathing in the pollution, all of that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to help take that out of our bodies. It, it actually improves psoriasis, you guys. It's, this is really powerful. Um, it reduces cell damage for non-alcoholic fatty liver and alcoholic fatty liver. That's a big deal because what we're putting in our bodies nutritionally is giving us non-alcoholic fatty liver. Um, and this is a way to reduce that. Some studies have shown it even helps autism and Parkinson's disease because again, we're taking out all that oxidation of the cell and, and shoveling it out of the body. It's a really powerful antioxidant. And together, I what I believe and what I have researched is NAD goes in there and cleans out the cell, opens it up, and glutathione comes in and does the scrubbing bubbles to it and helps us regenerate. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, I, I understand that too. And it's like, you're far more educated than me. I'm, I'm just this guy who does experiments on my body <laughs> and uh, that are pretty interesting, you know, trying this, trying that and seeing what it does and testing everything. Um, but yeah, it's like the NAD, you're right. It, it's like, it fills that cell with energy. You can only right. imagine it, it helps fill the cell with ATP. Exactly. But the glutathione sneaks in there too. And just as like a little scrubber. It takes all that crap out of it. Yeah. And that's the benefit of the cell because they both help make the mitochondria stronger, right? Exactly. Exactly. We're, we want our mitochondria to go through healthy and be vibrant. And NAD, that's why it's anti-aging. NAD does that for us. It makes those, those new cells and good, healthy ones. And glutathione scrubs those out. Yeah. And so everyone, what Nicole kind of means by put, really putting it in layman's terms, scrubs it out. It's the master detoxifier. Exactly. It's, I call it vitamin C on steroids. <laughs> Glutathione detoxes your body. And isn't it also produced in your liver? Yes. Um, but to support your liver, the glutathione, and, and you guys know if you've been watching the channel, we talk about glutathione. All, you know I do glutathione drips. I do glutathione shots. I do glutathione, glutathione. Um, and I, I do precursors too. And you just named the three amino acids. Um, I do um, glycine with N-acetylcysteine, known as NAC. And so those two are the main two amino acids that you need uh, to make this tripeptide called glutathione. And I, I always look for uh, search for on YouTube and podcasts and stuff on how NAD works with glutathione because it just fascinates me and they do work together. So um, hopefully people will, will look at this and realize that NAD does work with glutathione. Absolutely. I think they go hand in hand together. You and I both do trips, injections, all of those kind of things. Yeah. And on, on future videos, we'll talk more about how to get the glutathione, how to NAD and glutathione. Now, NAD, we didn't say what? Nicotinamide, adenosine, <laughs> yes. dinucleotide. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's a very long way, <laughs> way too, way too many big words for me. Not that smart. Um, way too many big words for me, but that's why we say NAD. Yes. Um, and I probably pronounced one or two of those words wrong anyway. Um, so we're going to talk more about the precursors to NAD and glutathione. And we probably already have, but there's precursors to both of these. And you can also, if you do it correctly, you can take these directly. So stay tuned in the future for that. Uh, Nicole, thank you so much for being with us as always. Thank you for having me as always. <laughs>